Welcome back to Firefall. This is Fire 675, bringing you another Battleframe class guide. Today, we are going to discuss this frame right here. Probably one of the cooler looking frames, in my opinion. Uh, it's got a very distinct uh, reactor pack on the back. This frame is the Dragonfly. The Dragonfly is a tier 2 biotech Battleframe. The original uh, base level tier 1 biotech frame balances attack and healing uh, to give you a, a balanced taste of uh, a little bit of, of both. When you venture onto the tier 2 battle frames, whether you buy them or uh, level up enough to be awarded one, uh, if you want to stick with the, the biotechs, you have two options. You can either pick the dragonfly, uh, this frame, or the recluse. The dragonfly is more the healer type of the two, uh, which leaves the damage output uh, to the recluse. Not that you can't heal uh, as a recluse, uh, but it's more geared towards that. Now, let's look at originally at the uh, unique weapon, the primary weapon, for the dragonfly. The primary weapon is the bio rifle. Uh, you can only use this as a dragonfly. The primary uh, fire is a uh, fully automatic. Um, it's got a fairly decent sized uh, clip, about 84, and headshots do extra damage. If I could land one in there, probably not. Um, so you can see it, it fires pretty quick, does a considerable amount of damage depending on how you have it slotted and how the rest of your frame looks. Uh, your power level obviously affects your primary fire uh, damage output. If you have any questions about that, check my upgrading and module guide, um, and I'll discuss, I'll teach you all about power level. The secondary fire, well, here's a good example, will do a knockback to enemies, but if you've got a friendly target and you hit them with it, it'll give them a dot, or a heal over time, a hot actually. Should heal about close to a thousand damage. Maybe a little bit more. If you hit an enemy with it though, it's a big knockback and it does about 500 damage. Close to 600 there. So there you saw, 444 for a headshot. The downside to this weapon is it eats ammo like crazy. Now, your primary shots, if you look at my ammo counter on the bottom right hand side, I've got 35 rounds left in my clip and nothing left in my reserve. So if I shoot once, it's one bullet. My secondary fire takes 20 bullets. So if you've got a full clip, let me refresh this here. So in this clip of 84, I can use my secondary fire four times. Get this guy up. And this is how you revive somebody. You just go up to him, hit E, and the counter counts down. And then he lives. And he gets a heal. That's nice. Be a nice guy. Revive strangers. There's no use not doing it. So that's the primary weapon, uh, the bio rifle. Uh, the projectiles aren't uh, hit scan like some of the other weapons, like this. For instance, the primary fire on the electron, which I did a guide on earlier. Uh, that projectile goes uh, lightning fast, well, maybe because it's basically electric. Um, but as you can see, there's a little bit of speed to these. There's there's no dip, there's no arc uh, to the projectiles. Moving on, we will discuss the unique abilities uh, for this frame. First ability is the healing wave. You can see it has uh, a knockback. Uh, like the secondary fire to the to the primary weapon, um, and it'll do a cone basically or an arc effect in front of you uh, to heal friendly people, and it will knock back and damage uh, enemies. Um, so let me show you that quick. It's actually really effective if you're thumping and you've got a bunch of things on your thumper. You can hit this quick and it'll damage them and it'll also push them back off your thumpers so they won't be able to do any more damage at that point. 
if I can find something here. Well, I'll show you what it looks like anyway before I find uh, an enemy. So it's just just a big like half bubble that uh, fans out in front of you like that. The secondary unique ability <clears throat> is the healing ball. The healing ball um, will explode uh, when you activate it a second time. So you have to hit this ball twice unless you're good enough to hit your target with it. Which, it moves pretty quick, but sometimes it's a little bit unreliable and difficult to, uh, to land. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is what the healing ball looks like. Um, and you click it again, and it activates. So that, just like your healing wave, will heal allies, and it'll hurt enemies. Pretty, uh, pretty simple stuff. Like I said, though, it can be a little tricky to use just because of how it'll bounce because it will ricochet off the ground and if you don't activate it quick enough it'll just go flying off into the nothingness uh, where you won't be able to activate it and it won't be useful to you anyway I'll show you that in a second here so if you don't activate it it'll bounce which I guess could be helpful if you're trying to get around a corner for some reason uh, but the other reason the other way it's helpful now here's a primary wave. I knocked him back. He's about 14. <coughs> Hunter damage. Um, if you need to heal yourself, you can use your healing ball. If you've got no other way to do it, you just jump up, shoot down, and it bounces, and you activate it, and you heal yourself. Which I'll show you here in a second. He's down. That guy died again. <laughs> So I'll try to get me and this person together in the same ball. Thanks, there. You activate it twice quickly, you heal yourself, and whoever else is in the splash area. The third unique ability is the healing pillar. <coughs> the healing pillar basically kind of sets down a uh, deployable, which uh, well, let me, I'll show you. Now that thing has a cool uh, has a countdown effect and when it times out it shoots up a healing um, burst uh, much like the other abilities now you can use that to damage enemies but the tricky part of that is trying to figure out where they're gonna be and setting it ahead of time or trying to drag them onto it and you see I just did damage with my healing ball um so those are the basic abilities, uh, basic unique abilities with Dragonfly. Let me see if I can cook up my, uh, there, my HMK, my level, my number four ability is now active. Now my level four, my ultimate, if you will, is Healing Dome. Basically, it's an AOE dome around me that heals anyone inside of it. If you're in an instance, or if you're doing an Ares mission or a Thumper. Um, and your allies are really damaged, or even a tornado, for example. If you're trying to take down a tornado and there's a lot of damage going out, that's a great ability. It'll heal everybody inside, probably up to a maximum. I don't know what that maximum number of people it is, but I've never never seen it. Um, it'll heal them over time, uh, a certain amount per tick. It all says heal strength, and it's uh, 130 HP but it lasts for 10 seconds so every second it heals everybody inside there for that amount of damage now the downside of that is it does no damage to enemies um, around you so if you're looking for a damaging ultimate ability you can always go back and use the Accord Biotech HMK which is the chemical sprayer Basically, that that gives you a poison or nanotech gun for 10 seconds that will let you spray out ooze, kind of like a flamethrower, uh, that will heal allies and damage enemies. And you get that for 10 seconds and you just go crazy. The range on that's pretty short, um, so I don't usually bother using it. I'd rather save that 
uh, ultimate healing ability for if I get in trouble. I can just pop that and run away. Hello, Doggy. So those are the basic abilities of the Dragonfly, and you've seen the primary weapon. Um, if you have any questions about this frame, uh, or about any other frames, please uh, leave a, a message down below in the comments. Please uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel to see more guides on Firefall. Uh, and if you have any questions you'd rather ask me in person, well, to a, to a point, I broadcast every night on Twitch TV. Uh, my username is Phyrus, P-H-Y-R-U-S, 675. Uh, I'm on every night after 10 o'clock uh, Eastern Saturn time. Uh, I'll be playing Firefall for quite a while, so uh, stop in, uh, drop in, say hi. If you have a question, feel free to, uh, to ask it. Um, I'm more than happy to answer questions. If you enjoy this, um, please take a look at my other uh, guides, and uh, I hope you were informed. Thank you.